Do you happen to know how to read this character? Yes. Yobu. Yep, Yobu to call. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Kiga mawaranai. Hi, Kiga mawaranai. So this word means um to kind of be thoughtless, to not come around to thinking about something. Can you read this word for me? Yo, yobi modosu. Do you have any guesses what this might mean? It's composed of yobu and modosu. Modosu, like modoru. Mm, to call and to cause for a return, to call back. Yep, to call back, to call somebody to return. Perfect, yobi modosu. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Kimi ga ore o machi ni yobi modoshita. You, you ask me to return to the town. Perfect. Nice. So this word right here is fu an. So whenever you see this little like thing right here is fu. Um, fu an is like uneasy. To be nervous. Um, um, what's this word right here? Fu. Fu an. Fu an. Nice. Do you know what ato means? Ato meaning after or be behind. Right? Yes. Perfect. Um, this word started with fu. Do you know what it ended with? And with an. Hi, fuan. What did fuan mean? Not peaceful. Un yeah. Um, worrying. Yeah, to be kind of worried, uneasy, things like that. Um, fuan no amari. It's kind of like really nervous, basically. Amari is like surplus, basically. So excessively nervous is would be like the literal translation. But it basically just means very worried, full of um apprehension or something like that. Fuan no amari. No amari. Hi. Do you remember what kiga mawaranai meant? Kiga mawaranai. Mawararu is to circling around, right? It is, yep. So, to not circle around mm. the conscious, mm. consciousness, not circle around, to not be aware of heart. I, I don't know this one. Well, you're right. It is to not be aware of something. Um, the idea is that you're not being, you're not paying attention to the details. You're kind of being thoughtless. You don't, you're not really um, keeping attention of things. Kiga mawaru nai. So kiga mawaru is a word that is correct, where you'll see kiga mawaru, which is literally, you know, to spin your attention around, basically. And that basically means to be attentive, to notice the small details, kind of. To like care about others, you know, and you're like, oh, this is Sam. His favorite color is blue. Blah 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 blah. And that's like I'd be like kiga mawaru. So kiga mawaru nai is like the opposite. It's like to not pay attention to details and just kind of be like thoughtless. Hi, thoughtless. Thoughtless. Hi. Okay. So contextually, um, the main character is talking about the letter he read, which he received by Brambi. So last week when we um read this um we um saw that inside the letter he did not the Bramby did not write anything at all that had to do with the main in fact the main character has been exiled from Wurumeto for over 20 years and he said hmm, that's just like Bramby so leading with that he says the next sentence which starts over here can you read it for me hi Fuan no amari washi o machi ni yobi modo sta ato no koto made ki ga mawaranai no da. So, Fuan no amari, uh, excessively worrying, uh, washi o machi ni, I. Uh, I to the town, uh, or no, he called me. Yep, call me to the town. 
呼び戻した後のことまで、after the ことまで、after, after まで、after Basically, after, after he asked me to come to the town, he was Kiga Mawaranai. He was thoughtless. Yeah. So, this is him basically making a comment on the fact that. So, first he said, huh, he didn't talk at all about the fact that I wasn't, I was, I've been exiled for over 20 years. That. That fact he didn't mention that, even though he was begging me to come, shows that he still he was being thoughtless. He wasn't. He just was like, "Yeah, you left a while ago." He was like, he wanted like more like details with him being like, "Please, uh, I know you've been exiled for such a long period of time," but Brambi didn't say anything about that. He just was like, "We're in a disaster. Please help." Money, can I zoom in、Hi. on this phrase? Ato no koto made, meaning he's saying that even after you have called me back, right? Up to that event,、yeah. like、you have gone out of your, you, you, you even called me back.、Hi. Having done that, you still being thoughtless. Yep. Right? It kind of means ato, like he only I, went to the extent of calling him back and didn't do anything on top of that, kind of, is how I would express、um, that. You only going up to this much. You only call me back. You have you don't apologize to me anything. You just exactly. So that's how thoughtless you're. So thoughtless、much. to the extent that all you did was say, "Come, come to Willamette, please." And I'm worried. <laughs> It's like nothing else. Got nothing else to say to me. Hi. Ato no koto made. Yeah, it, it, it is hard because it's like weird. It's just so after the, there's basically the made is the most important part. It's saying that's that's all he did. He went to that extent of come to Whittlemet, and then that's it. And or like I'm worried, and he's like, where 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 is the substance? Where is like I miss you so much. I'm so sorry you were exiled. Is that no amari? I'm very concerned. Hi. Um. Do you remember how this word is read? Shinzo. Perfect. Shinzo. So focus on that. Shin. Um. Do you happen to know this kanji? To meet. Hi. Au. Yep. Out. Perfect. And how about this word? Dorobo. Doro. Hi. So this right here is the bo. Bo from dorobo. And、bo. um, how do you think you read this word? Yoshinbo. Hi. So this word actually has some rendaku right here. So normally it would be yoshinbo, but here it's actually yojinbo. Yojin. So yojinbo is protecting the heart with a stick, which is a bodyguard. This sounds so familiar. This must have been a Japanese movie called Yojinbo. There's definitely yojinbo is a very popular word. Yojinbo. It's a bodyguard. Bodyguard. So now you have to remember the yo part of yojinbo, which is use. Yo. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? Ah.、Uh, Hira hig. This is gure. Hi. Gure no kimi wa yojinbo to atta. Hi. Um, the Lord of Twilight, Higure no Kimi, meets with the bodyguard Yojimbo、yep. Tota. Yep, he met, met with the bodyguard. Hi, do you know what Yato meant? Wait, this is the first time、yeah. seeing it. <laughs> to. Yato. This is to. too higher. Up、uh, to higher. Hi, Yato. First time seeing it. I, I was. I was. I saw the word. It's like it shows up later in the book. So, yato to hire. Hire. Okay. Can you read、hire. this for me? Do no ah higure no kimi wa yojinbo o yato ta. Hi. Coming from the verb yato. Hi to hire. Yato. So he, the Lord of Twilight, hire a bodyguard. 
Perfect. Nice. So our next word, can you read it for me? Ochisuki saki. Perfect. So an ochisuki saki is a location you can calm down in. The most likely context would be like a home or a house or some kind of accommodation. Uh, you, this can be used in other contexts. I mean, like some other thing, apparently. But it is used in this book to refer to like a house, basically. A place to live in. Oh, a safe they, haven. They, I see. Safe haven. A, a safe house. Yeah. So a location that you can calm down in. That makes sense because the context of this book is he's a thief. He's <laughs> a thief. Uh, yeah. Well, well, nobody, the main character right now in, for the diary entries, he's, he's right now on the run from <laughs> the government. <laughs> okay. okay, can you read this for me? Yojimbo wa ochisuki saki o misuketa. And you told me that this misuketa is, is more like. um. To discover. Yes. To to but not intentionally. It's um the idea upon. so to happen upon would be uh, a different verb. So mitsukeru is kind of like I am going to find something. You think that in your head, you go looking for it, and when you find it, it's mitsukeru. So you can't accidentally mitsukeru or accidentally mitsukaru. It means somebody was like, I want to find this man. Um if if we were like finding like um I, I can't think of on top of my head what would be like in this context for, for finding a location. But if I've like found a hat, for example, you'd use um, hirota, which would be uh, hirota rather than mitsuketa to mean, oh, I picked, I found this. But that would be the accidentally finding. You just were wandering and then you stumbled upon some item. So you're like, oh, this is mine now. So I. Beautiful. I don't know what the verb would be for wandering into a location, finding it. Hi. So it's, he was looking for this hideout. Yes. This heaven. So it's yojimbo wa ochisuki. I wonder what this suki mean. Like to stab at something? Mm, that's a good guess. <laughs> this tsuki right here is the tsuki for to arrive. Tuku. Ah, arrive. Hi. To fall and arrive at ahead i see okay so ochisuki saki o mitsuketa the yojimbo found the safe uh the safe spot the, the yep. safe place yep nice and what does yojimbo mean it's a bodyguard perfect bodyguard um next word is nasu bekikoto this is something you have to do it's like a to-do list i think so this is things you have to do, and nasu you don't really see on its own that much. Uh, but nasu, with that kanji, I would I guess means like to do, perhaps. Yeah, the but kanji yeah. from naru, except that in this case is nasu. Uh, it's so it's thing that must be done. It's the kanji from to build. To nasu. build. Oh, I'm wrong. Uh, not I don't, I don't think Nadu to become has kanji, does it? It does. It's just that they oh. don't use it anymore. You're right. It is the also the kanji for <laughs> Nadu to become. You're correct. I was like, huh. You're right. It can be in the kanji for to become, but Nasu is a uh, to build. To so the build idea around. is that things you need to build because it's a to do list. Nasu beki koto. Hi. Nasubeki koto. Things that must be done. Hi, must hi, be hi. built. Nice. So, we're now, so we're reading Nebody's diary. So let's go read what this says. Uh, so the other one was the letter from Bam, yes, Bam B. From this Bam is B. his diary. This is yes. Nebody's diary. Now we're in Nebody's diary. Yep. Washiga nasubeki koto wa. My list of to do. Yep. The it, things I have to do. Tasogare gai de at the Twilight Town. Ochisuki saki o mitsukeru. This guy is such an operative. He is definitely <laughs> a okay. First thing, I need to find a safe house in the Twilight District. Hey. Ni. 
Ranbi to au. Now he gonna meet with his handler, basically. <laughs> he's, he's straight up spy. <laughs> uh, Than, uh, he. Oh, this is the character for like graying, graying. Uh, getting then, dark. Hi. Uh, you taught me this one. Now I forgot. Nagu, gu. Hi. Good at. But it doesn't have the red here. It just so hides with, in there. Yeah, it's hidden in there. It, it's a kind of like a really good thing about it for naming things. That um sometimes a little extra thing there will be on top just because it doesn't look pretty. If you have the day there. It's kind of just for aesthetics is uh, how I describe that rule. Very important for the Japanese aesthetics. <laughs> yep. All right. So he could he good at no kimi. Kuro to. Uh, Hi. So this is the, the name Lord, of the Higurikimi. So the Lord of uh, Shadow, is it? Basically, it's the Lord of the Day Ending. <laughs> the Setting Sun. <laughs> Twilight. Anything so it, like that. Evening it Lord. Has the same, does it has the same meaning as the Tasogare? So Tasogare is just Twilight. So it's very specifically those Twilight Hours. Which I'm not even sure what that even means in English. <laughs> Twilight is like the early hour of the morning, right? Or is it oh, the late hour of the I, afternoon? Which one is it? I'm confused too. I don't know. As an English speaker, nobody knows. We just know the aesthetic. It's a, I think. The, it's, okay, but it's, he, he could have absolutely, absolutely, definitely the setting, the setting, the setting of the of day. setting of the sun, yeah. <laughs> right. So this guy is basically like the uh, Egyptian Seth god of <laughs> the 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 setting sun kind of a guy yeah. and his name is kuro yep like crow crow <laughs> and he needs to meet with this guy yeah. number three yep so i gotta meet with the lord of twilight gotta meet with brambi and, man he's he's on a mission and con is mission. kind of like <laughs> <laughs> ruining his day young <laughs> Yo, Jimbo, oh, Yato, he needs to hire a bodyguard. Hi. <laughs> and, Neburito wa. Uh, so she no, says Benetto. Uh, we got a new name. Ben Benetto wa, do daro. Hi. What to do with Benet? Good guess. So, in this context, that it, that could be what it means. Um, They'd be like, do su do, would be more like what to do with. So, do daro is more like, how about Neburi? So ne I'm sorry, Benetto. So Benetto is this idea of who he's gonna hire as a bodyguard. Benetto. Ah, is all that all. Okay, he's still young. <laughs> How about Benet? So, so. I wonder. Okay, our next word is tol chakut. This is to sorry. arrive. Tol chakut. <laughs> this right here is the same kanji that shows up with um ochi tuku when we did ochi tuki. So that's a arriving kanji. Ochaku is to arrive. Yep. And can you read Hi. this word for me? This is to appear. So it's de mm. de dekuasu. Hi. So dekuasu is to happen to meet. Dekuasu. Happen to meet. Hi. Can you, you read this one? In yeah. the street. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Tasogare gai ni tochaku shimashita. Someone arrived at the Twilight District. Perfect. Awesome. Can you read the next sentence for me? Tasogare gai de higure no kimi ni dekuashita. At the Twilight District. Someone came across the Lord of Shadow. I mean the something like that. Yeah, the Lord, the, of, the the Lord of the Evening, the Sun, the Sun Setting Lord. <laughs> Hi. Yep. In the Twilight District. Do you happen to know what Dekigoto means? Dekigoto. Dekiru is possible. Hi. Dekigoto and... is the thing that can be done. Can, yes. can be possible things. That is what you would assume it would mean, things that are possible. Dekigoto is actually a way to say incidents. 
an incident that had occurred. Yeah. Like an in uh, incident. But like kind of event. But it had a broad meaning. Yes. Mm. It doesn't mean that like a bad incident or a good incident. It just means it's, something it's, happened. It's it's mostly just something happened, but it's normally not gonna be like a super awesome. So I don't believe you like if you won the lottery, I don't think you'd use Dekigoto. But it has to be like a little bit of chaos is how I'd say it works. So it doesn't have to be negative. Like it doesn't have to be horrible, but it should be a little bit like, wow, how did that happen almost? <laughs> I guess. Huh. Uh, so it, it needs a little <laughs> bit element of chaos is uh, how I'd say it. So how I is it see. possible that this could have happened? Might be that that's a kind of incident. So uh, hmm. for example, in the Magic Treehouse books, when it, the they refer to the whole event as a dekigoto, like the things that happened during the day, but it wasn't like a horrible experience, but th there, it was like an adventure in that case. So, so is it fair to say that, do you think that the Japanese language sort of have this theme of intentionality and unintentionality all across yeah. the language? It seems like it's a reoccurred again, things that happen, but I don't intend it to happen. Yeah. I, I would say that probably is a little bit of dicky though you probably didn't I couldn't imagine it being used for intending to happen. Mm -hmm. Um anyway, let's go read the sentence. Hi. Tazo gare gai de dekikoto ni ekuwashita at the twilight district someone came across the incident. Exactly. Perfect. Yep. So it doesn't have to be a person here. It can also be some kind of event. Hi. Um, so the next word, how do you read this? Person. Right? It could be a person as well, right? It can be a person. So I, the last sentence was a person I did, and this one is an event. So I just wanted to show you that you could use it for both. Hi. Um, dekakeru. Hi. So dekakeru means to leave like your house normally, to, to go outside, basically. Dekakeru, to go out for something. And this kakeru is, is like the cost of something? Kakeru? K kind of. Kakeru has a crazy amount of meanings. So if I go like this, you can see this right here is the kanji. And so I can't really say what that kanji means on its own because it just has too many meanings like it can mean oh. the span across something it can mean the start like hanash kakeru means to start a conversation that's that same kakeru but it means like you are the instigator of the conversation so i would almost say it, you are the instigator of leaving the house Hi, <laughs> Maybe the but uh there's there's lots of meanings of kakeru so it's better to know it in context than uh, it's one of those like twenty thousand things kind of like ageru has like twenty thousand different Things it could be. Okay. Hi. Can you read this for me? You meshi o tabe ni dekaketa. Hi. Leave the house to eat dinner. Exactly. To leave the house to eat dinner. So this is kind of like your reason why you go. Hi. But it didn't have the word house in here. It just simply say, I, I left wherever I was. To eat dinner. Yep. Exactly. Okay, so next is Yoki Senu. This is unexpected. Unexpected. Yoki Senu. Yep. Without. Hi. Expected. And then the noun here is like expected. Right. Hi, hi, hi. Main part is that yo part, I think. Hi. I can't think of, but it, it, it is a phrase in itself. So you don't really see yoki by itself. I think it might be old Japanese. <laughs> so, uh, Hi. But I didn't actually Google the, if, if the, what is this? Come from this seru. It's okay. come from seru basically, but it just take the negative form of seru. seru. Oh yeah. The new, the new is old Japanese. Uh, <laughs> but um, the, I'm just saying that this is like a, a set phrase. Basically, even though it is does come from things to the extent that the first part you don't see by itself anymore, like not in the dictionary anyway. Mm. Hi. Uh, yoki is accepted. Uh, um, 
to have an expectation, but there's not really like the verb with that. Because it might be yoki suru then. It's an old word. But yeah. Uh, don't worry about it. Let's go Hi. read it. Tasogare gai ni kechaku shita ato. Oh, oh, no, that's a tochak. <laughs> tochaku. Well, that was my fault. Oh. I need to do that again. I was supposed to that. Oh, 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 Yeah, that, my, that was my fault. I apologize. Chaku. Oh, Chaku. Hi. <laughs> that mean arrive. Hi. So, at the twilight. Uh, they had a need here, so I'm guessing it's mean at at the twilight district after I have arrived. And then show shokuji 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 o tori ni meaning that's a clause here. Right. So um the 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 the, the meal torini torini this is oh, I take the meal I took it. Yep. I take the meal ni meaning at at that event. Do you want the kakeru man? Uh, the kaketa I I left. So I left to take a meal, right? I left to take a meal. No daga. However, right? right? Yeah. No da. It, it it was the case that I went out to take the meal, but Yoki Senu unexpectedly deki goto ni uh deku washita something unexpected. I came across. Yep, I came across something unfinished. I, ha- I ran across into an unexpected incident. Hi. Um, so after I arrived at Tasugare District, I went out to take lunch, get some food. Basically, I went to get some food would be how we say it in English. We use get here, I guess. And then I happened across an unexpected incident. So you see the incident, Freaking- we know what it was. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was like, oh. I'm- it was hard <laughs> robbing the guy. <laughs> oh. uh, but that's not really what it, he actually doesn't care at all that got robbed and he's, he's he's more interested in the other stuff that happened um how do you read this word right here uh, <clears throat> no kimi. perfect Higure no kimi. do you happen to know this kanji i know this it's red aka that's a good guess aka let's see what does aka look like I sorry, I got the top the top kanji. The top kanji is mm-hmm. aka. But the bottom one, the top and the bottom, uh oh, it looks so familiar. I can't, yeah. I can't remember. This can mean strange or like a transformation. Hen, hen. Yep, hen. Perfect. Um, can you read this, this word for me? E hen. Hi. To so become e- strange. Good guess. Ihen is actually a strange event. This is specifically an event that is strange. Ah, uh, it's a noun. Hi. It's not a verb. Yeah, this is a noun. Ihen. Ihen. Um, so since you know the hen, what did it start with? E. Hi, Ihen. Nice. Can you read this for me? Ihen ni dekuashita. Perfect. I came across a strange event. Perfect. And our next word is shoujiru, which is a do verb. This is, um, it is, theoretically, it's like to produce, but it kind of means something happened, something like occurred, kind of. Uh, what is the ta form of shoujiru? The ta form of shoujiru is shoujita, without right. the... Yeah, shoujita. I forgot what that called. No Push glottal stop. stop. No, no small no two. Stop. Yeah, can you read the sentence for me? 
壁に何かが生じた。はい。Um, something、mm, occurred at the wall. Basically, yes. That's basically what's saying. Something happened to the wall. And the ha- thing that happens is going to be the nani ka. That, that's kind of how it's used. So it's not necessarily、uh, it saying. To the wall. Yeah, something happened to the wall. Some, something's、it's、going on here.、Hmm. Every time、happen. there's a ni, it's implied there is a directionality here. Hi. Something going to the it happening to the wall. Right? Yeah. For example, you could have the word cracks here. Like if the wall has develops cracks, you could say,、um, I think. I'm not sure what cracks is well, in Japanese. Well, there's but... two kind of knee, right? One knee implies a location, a particular、um, point. So, when ni is used for location, that's still a destination. It's never used as a generic location. It's only used as a destination. For example, de is used when you're just talking about a location. So, if something occurs in a location, you use de. Ni is when you're going to a location. Like, tolchaku is to arrive. It's not, I am in Tasuradai. It means I arrived at Tasuradai. I did arriving in the direction、okay. of that. If I, want to, if I want to express the, the phrase, I'm drinking coffee at a coffee shop. You'd use de. I would not say ni. I, was,、yes. I would not say kisaten ni. Yep, you'd use you de. Know,、uh, kopyo, yomu. I would say de. Hi. But if you're、I、walking、see. and you're like going to the cafe while drinking tea, you would use ni <laughs> in that case. Um, but yeah, you'd have to like b- build up the verbs in that to say that sentence. I see. Okay. That's clear now. Okay. And right now is our h a l f w a y I keep thinking of it. Yeah. Hi. No, no, you yeah, I keep、it. thinking of it in terms of like location only. Yeah. So yeah. That's knee, why I messed it up. Knees either for destinations, the way you do a verb, or it is for some kind of time marker. Um, it's not super commonly used for time. Like it is, it's used for time, but a lot of times in Japanese, time in Japanese doesn't need a marker. Like kyo, for example, today, you would never say, you would almost never say kyo ni. That'd be weird. But you、Hi. do say kyo wa because you're marking today as the topic.、Um, so a lot of times, time could also take me, which, yeah. Anyway, I'll be seeing you in two seconds. Bye.